Could stocks sink as we enter May? We explore that in this week's Fastest 4 Minutes in Finance. Hello, I'm Scott Inman. The S&P 500 index fell more than 4% in April, ending a five-month win streak for that index. All the major indices were down sharply in April. The Dow fell about 4.2%, the NASDAQ was down about 4.7%, and the Russell 2000 sank about 6%. For perspective, though, the S&P is up more than 5% year-to-date and more than 20% over the past 12 months. The Dow is up about half a percent year-to-date and more than 11% over the past year. NASDAQ has risen 4% since January 1st and almost 28% in the past 12 months. And the Russell is down about 25 year to date but has risen more than 11 in the past year. So that brings us to May. If you do a quick search for sell in May and go away, you'll find scores of articles written about the seasonal weakness we are historically entering. If you look at the data, you'll find that the stock market indeed does perform better November through April than it does from May through October. Here's a chart from LPL Research that shows the S&P 500 returns for every six-month period in the calendar. The blue line shows returns since 1950. The gold line represents returns over the past 20 years. The orange line, the past 10 years. And the gray line, the past five years. The May through October period is the worst since 1950 and over the last five and 20 years. Over the past 10 years, it ranks seventh. But if you're thinking about hitching your investment strategy to the sell in May wagon, you might want to think again. To sell in May would mean parking that money on the sidelines or investing it in another asset class. And while May through October may be one of the worst six-month timeframes in the stock market, it is still historically positive. Since 1950, the S&P is up 1.8% on average during that six months, but closer to 4.4% on average over the past five years and 10 years. And remember what we said about April? The negative return snapped a five-month win streak. Again, here's LPL chiming in with a great look at S&P 500 returns after a five-month positive run is over. Stocks have snapped a five-month win streak nine times since 1950. This is the ninth. In the previous eight, stocks were positive 12 months later every time with an average return of 13.3%. Given the tear the market has been on, potentially weakening economic data and a presidential election, it wouldn't be surprising to see things slow down. It wouldn't even be surprising to see a significant pullback before the end of October. But sell in May and go away as an investment strategy is just a dressed up way to try to time the market. As we always say, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. Rather than sell in May, we would recommend that you keep your head in May. Stay focused on your long-term financial goals by remembering that stocks are a long-term investment. Thanks for watching. Want to become smarter financially in four minutes or less? Sign up at fastestthenumber4.com to get insights and updates like this delivered to your inbox weekly.